What is up guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be something quite a bit different than you're used to seeing on this channel. I get asked quite often, what do you do for work? How do you afford these cars? And how the hell do you afford all these car parts for your cars? I have a quite a few different sources of income, but one thing I want to share with you guys is a little something I do on the side to afford my crazy wild addiction and passion for cars. It's really quite simple. It's flipping car parts on the side. So I'll go on Craigslist, I'll go on Facebook Marketplace, and I will find either really cheap parts I can make money on or just random stock stuff people are giving away and I'll sell them on eBay. So today I'm gonna to be literally bringing you step by step on exactly what I do from finding the parts, going picking them up, getting them all cleaned up, getting them listed on eBay, getting the part packages up, ready to ship, show you step by step. Because a lot of people think this is quite confusing, but honestly it's pretty easy. It's, you can make a ton of money on the side doing this. You can make more money doing this than at your regular job if you stick with it and if you find the right deals. So let's head down to the computer downstairs in the office and I'll show you guys exactly what I do to find these parts. So the main thing I'm gonna be looking for today is stuff I currently own. So STI parts, Evo parts, and FRS parts. I'm gonna search Craigslist. I live in Spokane, so I'm looking at the local Spokane Craigslist. So first up, let's try to find some FRS or BRZ parts near me that I can probably make some money on. Go by owner. Over here, I'm gonna click on auto parts. So we have some stock exhaust. I can't really sell stock cat back. Probably make money on like an OEM exhaust manifold or a header. But a cat back, everyone swaps out. So probably not there. LED tail lights. Those are pretty cool, but I don't think I can make much money on them. So I'm gonna go over to Facebook. There's a Facebook marketplace that I always search for parts on. I'm just gonna search FRS. Right here, stock crap. Last call before I toss stock exhaust and header. So like I said a minute ago, I probably can't sell a stock cat back. This header, I, I'm sure I can get some money for it. So how do you figure out if you can sell something and make money on it. What I'm gonna do, head over to my eBay account. We're gonna search for BRZ. People either call this a header or a manifold. I'll do BRZ header. Scroll down a little bit in the sidebar here. Click on sold items and then click on used. So we're looking for a used OEM exhaust manifold or a header. Perfect, right here. $130, $150, $180. So just like that guys, within two minutes, I found something I can make anywhere from $130 to $150 after fees and after shipping. All I have to do is go pick it up. I'm gonna message this guy, message seller, and say, <laughs> I like the factory thing, hey, I'm interested in buying your stock crap. Hey man, I will take the header. Send that over and see what he says. While I'm waiting for him to get back to me, I'm gonna go search for some other stuff on Craigslist. Let's go look for some STI parts. So these STI wheels, 2012 STI wheels, $550, wheels are in good condition, tires are no good. So you'd have to get those tires pulled off, another 30 bucks to get those tires pulled off. I could probably get those for five, 450 to 500 bucks. I'll just say I'll be into the full set at $500. I'm gonna head over to eBay. Again, these are like an 11 to 14 STI wheel. Same thing as before, go down to sold and used. Let's see what these things are going for. So here's a set right here that sold for $1,000 plus the 160 for shipping. So, just like that, good condition, minor rock chips, blah, 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 probably about the same condition. And those sold for $1,000. You can get them, as I just showed you, on Craigslist for $550. You could probably get those cheaper than $550. So just like that, guys, it'd probably take you an hour to go pick those up, get them cleaned up, get them listed on eBay, and you're making $500. Just like that, 500 bucks an hour. Anyways, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this today. I'm gonna stick with just this exhaust manifold or the header. He has not got back to me yet, so I'm gonna wait for him to get back to me and we can go pick this header up. So just like that, let's go grab it. Right, we got the exhaust manifold. Before we go ahead and list this on eBay, I am gonna give it a quick cleaning. So I'm just gonna grab some degreaser, a brush, and use a hose, clean it off real quick, nothing crazy. 
This is certainly optional. You don't have to clean it, but I noticed stuff online will sell for a lot more if you have a nice clean looking product. Just squirt some degreaser on it, get it nice and cleaned up, let that degreaser soak in. All right, I'm just gonna let that dry off a little bit and then we can bring it inside, take some photos. For this video, I will be using my iPhone. I know a lot of you probably don't have a super nice camera or any light boxes set up. So for this video specifically, I will just be using my iPhone and listing it on eBay all through my iPhone, just so you guys know it's possible to do with nothing crazy. Next up is to take some photos of the exhaust manifold. It's always best to have it on like a nice clean white background with a bunch of natural light coming in. I'm not gonna be using any light boxes for this. And like I mentioned earlier, everything else from here on out is gonna be done on my iPhone. So taking all the photos, listing this on eBay, it's all gonna be done from here. So I'm gonna jump onto the eBay app, click on create a new listing. We're gonna describe it in the title, kind of explain what year it's for and what exactly the part is. And then at the bottom there, click on create a listing. If it's used, hit used and then scroll down to where you can describe your item and then really describe, go into detail what exactly the product is. So here is a 2013 to 2016 FRS Beards exhaust manifold. There's no cracks, there's no damage. Very good condition, came off a low mileage car, blah, blah, blah. Now this next thing is optional. I always do buy it now only and no auctions. So I turn off auction, click on buy it now. I'm gonna list my price at 169.99 and then scroll down a little bit i'll do a 10 day buy it now period if it doesn't sell in 10 days then i'll relist it turn best offers on so people can make offers on the item and then also included in the price is my shipping so i'll go down to shipping another little marketing technique is just include shipping in my on my end so free shipping and the shipping comes out of the total sale price now we're going to scroll up to the top and insert a bunch of photos you can add up to 12 photos. I'm going to be taking them right off my camera on my iPhone. Try to get pretty technical and detailed with your photos as well. Make sure the lighting's good. Now we can scroll down to the bottom, click on preview, look it over, make sure everything looks good. Everything's good to go there. Now we just simply click on list your item and you are done. A couple minutes later, products on eBay someone can buy it. From here, it is literally just a waiting game, waiting for someone to go on eBay, search for an exhaust manifold and buy the one I just listed. As soon as they do, we can go pull it from the back room, get it packaged up. I'll show you how I go about finding a good size box for it, how I go about packaging it up, and then we can bring it into either USPS or FedEx, whichever one is cheaper. I'll see you guys in a few days. All right guys, so it's been a few days. Someone just went on my eBay account, purchased the exhaust manifold. I ended up selling for $150. So I'm gonna go in this back room real quick where I store all my parts, grab it, we can get it packaged up and ship it out. I have all of these boxes sitting around right here, but I'm guessing 99% of you aren't gonna have a majority of boxes or a wide variety of boxes. Go to a dumpster where they recycle cardboard and you can find so many nice, really nice, good sized boxes in there. So I'm just gonna pick one out that kind of fits the general shape and size of the manifold, which may be this one here. All right, perfect size box right here. This is gonna work wonders. I would recommend wrapping it in some sort of either padded paper, or not padded paper, just craft paper like that. You can use bubble wrap, you can use a lot of different things. It's all packaged up nice and tight in this box here. I'm just gonna grab some tape, tape it up really nice and tight. If you're extra anal about stuff, you can use some shrink wrap, shrink wrap the box together. Something like this, I'm not too worried about it. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink wrap this thing together real quick. So from here, we have two options. Number one is to create the shipping label at home. We're gonna weigh the box, get all the measurements, go online and create the shipping label. Option number two is to bring it to the post office or bring it to FedEx, UPS, wherever. Just bring the box there and they can do all that for you. Print the label there, you're done. It is quite a bit cheaper just to do everything myself here online and just print the label here and then go drop it off. So that is the route I'm gonna take. I'm gonna throw it on the scale over here and then get it measured up, go online, see what shipping company is the cheapest for this exhaust manifold. That is the weight, let's say 21 pounds, 27, 22, eight. Right here, we have the United States Postal Service pulled up. 
USPS. I'm going to enter it in 21 pounds and calculate that out. It comes up to $33. Let's check out FedEx real quick, see what that is going to run us. FedEx comes in at $22. So that is a bit cheaper. I'm going to go ahead and create that label. It's only two days down to California for FedEx. Pretty quick, 20 bucks, cheap enough. All right, that is ready to go, ready to drop off. Like I said, if you wanna skip all that stuff we just did here at home with even packaging it up, you can honestly bring it to USPS, FedEx, UPS, wherever, they can package it for you. Yeah, it's gonna cost a lot more money that way, but if you don't have any boxes at your home or office, wherever, um, you can just go that route. They can do all the measurements, the weight, and print, print the label there. Or you can save, I would guess they would charge me about $15, $20 to do all that. I honestly don't really know. It's been so many years since I went that way. Um, you can do it yourself here at home, like I just did, and save 20 more dollars, 20 more dollars to put in your pocket, 20 more dollars for car parts. The very last thing to do is just go drop this package off. I'm not gonna bring you guys along there, that's not that fun. Um, I think you guys kinda get the gist of what I do to afford random car parts on the side to build all the cars that I own. I do a lot of this, I do a lot of flipping, I do, I flip cars, I flip car parts, I flip dirt bikes, I flip freaking everything, so it's just hustle make that money. All these little things here and there add up. Imagine if you sold 20 of those a week. Well, how much money would that give you? Like two grand extra a week? Sounds about right, yeah. $2,000 extra a week just for flipping some stuff on the side. Could definitely be a full-time job and it was actually for me for the many years straight, that's all I did was just sell stuff on eBay, flip stuff on the side, that's all I did. I've never really had it in an actual job in my whole life. So you can make good money doing that if you guys wanna make some side cash, buy some extra car parts. It's a very good opportunity. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helped you all. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.